And while we all get ready to shovel public works crews around the metro and the state, they have their snow plows ready. As they should. Several million dollars is put aside for snow removal every year. And Denver 7 reporter Lance Hernandez is live in Denver. We're talking 70 plows hitting the streets tomorrow just in the city. Lance? Eric, that's because weather conditions could be nasty. And while road surface temperatures aren't that bad right now, with the wind blowing, there could be some ice buildup specifically on bridges and overpasses. The city wants to make sure they take care of those problems in time for the morning rush. Uh, each piece uh, gets married with its uh, own plow and spreader, and those uh, all three pieces end up becoming one over time. Work crews are getting trucks ready for action, attaching plows up front and de-icing spreaders in back. All 70 plows will be out and about overnight. Denver typically spends five and a half million dollars a year on snow removal. I asked if that will be enough, given that some forecasters are calling for more snow this year. If we ran into something unusually uh, heavy or, uh, you know, multi-day blizzard or something, we could we would go to the city and, and ask for additional funding. But we're not anticipating having to do that at this time. What they do anticipate is having to work out amongst drivers who may have forgotten what it's like driving on slippery roads. So we do a bunch of training to aware, make them aware. Uh, of the motorists that are going to be out there with them, and we uh, want to have them prepared for everything we can. I also checked with our neighbors to the east in Aurora. Their snow removal budget annually is about two and a half to three million dollars. They tell me they're going to put 34 snow plows on the roads overnight. They'll have more on standby if needed. In Denver, Lance Hernandez, Denver 7.